Hello everyone, Dreamy here, and today I just thought I'd do a quick review of Pasteware. Now, Pasteware's been a cheat that's been around for a long, long time. Uh, started off in fake angles, uh, it's now been, of course, remade, whatnot, to uh, desync. Uh, I joined in around, I think it was March of 2018, uh, so I have I have had quite a bit of experience with the cheat, and uh, just, rec just recently came out with the recode, two, two, three weeks ago, I believe. It's still not complete, I want to express that. It's not complete yet. It's still got a lot of things you can see right now. The JIT tab is still not there. But I use the, the devs uh, mainly focusing on rage and anti aim and getting some more up to date HVH features, which, uh, you know, everyone's looking for. So uh, let's jump straight into this. So let's get into the legit tab. Of course, you've got the uh, enable. I'm not sure if it does anything. Let me try the trigger box. Okay, so it looks like a good thing. Good thing Let's try it. No, it's just not good. Yeah, I feel like definitely if, uh, if I get them moving. Yeah, I feel like if you're like, if you're like holding it or something, you could definitely just... So, uh, so yeah, I mean, legit, you know, it works. Uh, probably doesn't, you know, probably just use the trigger bot for now. But on to the rage section. Um, so the rage section is probably where the. Sh I, I mean, I think it's a massive improvement from uh, the old pace where, you know, I think it's a very good improvement. So let's just grab a, uh, let's grab a scout for now. Um, so you got enable, silent. Uh, you got the tar target selection. I like this just really work uh, really well. You know, a lot of cheats have really shit target selection. I feel like Pasteware's got some really nice options. You got closer at the distance, so how far away. So let's say I was targeting uh, someone, it would target him before it targets him or one of them there. And you've got crosshair, close, close crosshair, damage, how much damage you can do to them, health, how low the health is, lag, and height. Uh, I'm assuming heights for like, you know, well, I mean, self explanatory, you know, how high they are, if they're lower or higher than you. Preferred hitbox, really like this, really do like this. It'll target wherever hitbox you wanted to target first. So I feel like I'm hitting a lot more head because I'm able to prefer what hitbox I want to target. Most cheats are maybe, you know, peek a corner to a legit and shoot them in the chest or something because I'll try to resolve them and then I'll get, you know, body shot or killed or whatnot. But yeah, it's very good. So set that to heads, um, hip boxes, head, neck, chest, arms, stomach, legs, and feet. Um, oh, let's turn off rage bar actually at the moment. Just give it a second. So uh, let's go neck, chest, stomach. There you go. And then multi point, uh, legs. And let's just have no. Let's just have stomach and legs on, I suppose. Um, and I think I've got this on on my main config. Yeah. Um, you can change the stomach, the, the chest hit point, hip uh, hit point, and the stomach scale. So put stomach to like 50-ish, chest less because you can do more damage with stomach. Um, minimum damage. Sadly, it's not like you know auto or whatnot or dynamic. It's just a set min damage. But hey ho, you've got scale damage on HP, penetrate walls. Put that to like. You don't want to shoot. You put it to like 60-ish. Aimbot on knife, aimbot on taser, angle. I don't. And as much as I, as much as I've had many years in HVH, I, I'm kind of stumped on what this is. I don't know if anyone wants to leave a suggestion. Be my guest. Auto scope, uh, always or hit chance fail. Very nice. Let's have that on always. Auto stop, full minimum speed, minimal speed. Compensate recoil, hit chance. Of course, put that to whatever you want. Uh, prefer safe points. Uh, ignore moving limbs, correct anti-aim, resolver, prefer body aim, put that on lethal, uh, only body aim, you know, you don't want to really do that. Nice thing I like about pasteware is if you put like a, a 14 tick DT, I don't know if it will let you do it, but if you, let me see if I have it on, quickly just put uh, indicators. Let's go third person. There you go. So I think I'll be able to show you. Um, yeah, if you can see, like, t 
teleport. Um, have I got it turned on? Oh, God. <laughs> there we go. But yeah, you can, uh... You can, uh, DT the scout and it teleports you out slightly. So you can get, a uh, you know, nice taps on people and then you push your teleport back behind the wall. So very useful, I actually like it. Um, yeah, here's, you know, I th the rage bot, if, I, if it misses then I'm going to it. It's, it's, it's a nice rage bot. I, mean, I say it's a nice rage bot, I'm testing on bot, but it's not really a fair assessment, I suppose. But I'll probably put some clips in later. Um, got anti-aim. Anti-aim's, you know, quite basic, really. Pitch down, uh, put on direction, backwards, yeah, static angle, away from crosshair, away distance. Uh, put a j I, I like to have a jitter. A jitter range, maybe about 11-ish. Fake your static. Um, Rear and fake, so you're moving slow walking. Okay. I put my jitter to 80, 60, sorry. Stupid and invert, so you can just uh, yeah, invert left, right, whatnot. Uh, of course, then you can. They're planning on getting some more anti aims and better anti aims and whatnot, but we'll see what they come out with. Uh, you can upgrade, you can change the ticks. Uh, you know, I like to stick with six, so I maybe play NM. Nice, it's a nice AA. You know, it's, it's it's very simple to configure. You know, I find. I mean, at least for me, it's simpler. Um, let's go on to player. So here's the ESP uh, we use on this guy here. So we got boxes, enemy. You can change the color. Oh, you should have to. Oh, I've uh, I've not disabled uh, D93X or whatever it is. So uh, the, I don't think any of the colors boxes are going to show up. Alright, well let me just quickly go to fix that and then I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. I just had to fix that. So uh, you're going to need to put in the, you know, something into your um, uh, launch options to properly display the menu. I'm sure it'll be fixed, but of course it's a new release. So as you can see, you've got a wide range. Just a, It's a normal colour picker, but I actually quite like it. I feel like I can easily and accurately get the colours I want to pick from really anything. So we'll stick with white. Um, let's get something close there. Let's go with it. So here you go, we've got a uh, dormant ESP off screen into ESP, that's what that looks like. Uh, I think it's quite nice. Uh, name, uh, health, flags, money, armor, scope, bomb, extended, so that's extended, back track option. Uh, that's flags and friendlies, weapons. Uh, I would like to see um, like uh, icons instead of names. Uh, as much as I like the name, the, like, the font, and it's quite easy to see. I would like to see icons, so I feel like icons are a lot easier. Now you've got ammo, uh, of course they have knives out, so skeleton, you know, glow, you can change the glow amount, but it's like a nice uh, 43, that's yeah, quite nice. Uh, champs, so you got, you can change it for enemy, friendly, local, desync, or history champs. Um, there's only two cham options at the moment, which is textured and flat, you know, as I said, I'm not going to complain too much. It is a cheat that's in beta right now, or not in beta, but you know, it's it's not fully re it's not fully released yet. So, you know, I'm not going to complain. <laughs> you know, jams, I don't really care as long as the cheat performs, then I'm, I'm fine. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I think you can make you can probably make some nice configs. You know, make some nice colored jams. Yeah, I feel like I feel like you could really make some nice stuff for this. Um, Visuals, so this is just a kind of weapon. It's not off range actually. I'll get it off. So it's drop. Can I drop weapons? I can. Uh, so dropped weapons, that's the name. Ammo, projectiles, that means if you throw a grenade, I'm not sure if I'll give one. Give a weapon, I'll just drop. Oh, I can't can throw it. I guess I can't throw a Molotov, which is kind of annoying, but you can uh, get the premise of it's a fire or whatnot. So we've got C4, 2D. I don't know what that is. Can I? Uh, okay, so I can't drop the bomb, which is kind of annoying. Um, but yeah, you can. I'm sure you can probably render it 3D or 2D. That's probably some form of box option or something. I'm not too sure. 
do not render teammates, of course, won't render teammates, worlds, Fulbright, or knights, of course, knight looks a lot nicer, but that's like a nice 80-ish prop capacity, you want to probably turn that uh, all the way up, I mean, at least I like it all the way up, so then render the props, if you don't, it's going to start doing this, I expect to look a lot worse, but I like having it all the way up, um, you've got in bullet impact, so that's just where the bullet hits, Pretty simple, really self explanatory. Uh, impact beams, so this is just like the traces. Yeah, you can change the colour. Um, I believe, yeah, you can. So put it maybe just have a, uh, let's have a dark, let's have a, a light purple. That's not bad, I actually kind of like that. Okay, so we've got the time, so you can make it stay seven seconds, of course, but that's very impractical. Mainly just have it to one. Yeah, there you go, gone. You see that all works. Of course, that's the ESP there. So we've got remove visual recoil, so... Yeah. Remove smoke grenades, remove fog, remove flashbangs, uh, override FOV, so that's just, you know, this kind of FOV. Then you've got override view model, which is just, of course, this. <laughs> I can't hit someone when I'm legit. See, this is why I hate VH. Um, yeah. So I would like to see a X, X, Y, and Z view model changer as well. You know, that'd be nice. But of course, it's just come out. Show spectator list. Uh, I think the spectator lists are shown in the top right. I don't know if it will show for my team. Because uh, it doesn't show because they're not on my team. But yeah, I think it's drawn up here. Um, we've got Force Crosshair. Of course, if you're using like a scout, just grab one. You see, my is still being drawn. Even though, you know, it's not supposed to. So you turn it off. There you go. Um, it would be nice maybe if there was an option for you to draw it, Crosshair, in here. I feel, like that, I feel like that would look quite nice. But, you know. Uh, it might, might come out. We've got the penetration cross there. They kind of went with a... It kind of gives me skeet vibes. Um, it's really going to be hard to show you. Um, it's like a... I'll probably get some form of... I'll probably get like a close-up if I can. Or a picture or whatnot. But it's it's like a... It's like a T. No, not a T. It's like a, it's like a regular kind of old... You know, like this kind of cross there. So it's like a line down and line through it. It's, it's quite nice. I like it. Um... As I said, indicators, so you've got the DT, and if you're fake lagging, then it'll have an LC for lag compensation. Grade simu grenade simulation is just, uh, you know, where it's going to go, the line that you'd usually see. Like, oh, here you go. So here you go. Back the road. So you can change this. Oh, you can change this to any colour you want. Let's go to this kind of colour. See? There you go. And if you get yourself a grenade, then you can see where it's going to bounce and whatnot. So yeah, very nice. Uh, move on to the movement tab. So this, of course, doesn't have much yet. Just the basics. So you've got automatic jumps and auto B hop, automatic strafe, uh, WSD strafe, which is I'll show you the B hops now. Very nice. I don't. Uh, I kind of I like the B hops. You know, I feel like they don't mess up as much. You know, they've got a hundred percent hit chance rate. They're not probably not as fast as you could get. I mean, maybe, I don't know, I don't have the velocity on at the moment, but, um, yeah, I feel, like, I feel like, you know, they're really clean. I don't really ever, I feel like the fake lag never really stops me. Some cheats, you know, you'll be booty hopping and it'll just go like that, or stop you or not. So, um, yeah, you've got slow walk, slow walk speed, so you can have prefer AA, which is going to look like this. You know, it's going to make your AA, like, you know, easier. But, I mean, sorry, not, what am I trying to say, like, um, you know, it's just going to prefer the anti-aim. It's not going to... It's going to make your AA more extended and less close to your body and whatnot. Uh, so you've got minimal speed. It's just regular AA. It would be nicer if there was a customization for this. So you could change how fast you are, how slow you are, or whatnot. Um, automatic peek. Of course, you go behind a wall. You quick peek out. You shoot someone and it'll pull you back in. Uh, you've got skins. Now, I would try and show you skins. But... Uh, skin's having a problem with crashing at the moment. I have been told that it's fixed in the beta. Um, but I'm not going to try load this. Of course, you've got every kind of skin you want. 
we've got knife models, glove models. It'd be really, really, really nice to see a model changer, like uh, this kind of model. So you can change your, you can change who you are. Uh, it is possible. I have seen a lot of, I've not seen a lot. I've seen a few cheats be able to do it and a few servers do it, but I feel like that'd be a really, really nice addition. Uh, here are notifications. So it, this is like the logs. So we turn all of this on. That's what they look like. And of course, if you go and I don't, I don't think you can buy. No, you can't buy. If I give something, will that work? Uh, scar. No, what is it? Uh, AKA 47. Okay, so that doesn't let you. It doesn't show me the logs, but yeah, you can uh, use your own imagination, see what that's like. Last tick diffuse. Um, I haven't tried that out, but I'm assuming that's probably going to be like. If you have a kit or something, it will diffuse it on the very last second. So you'll have like a. In, not, not an instant diffuse, but um, you know, you'll diffuse it on the very last second, which is nice. Be bypass this called pure, so you can use custom models with this cheat. Unlock inventory access, which is really useful. Hit marker sa type, uh, so screen is just going to be um, you know, defaultly registered. If I put it to this. Okay, so this is the sound. You can change the sound. Lower it. You know, I like to have it like. 80 ish. Not too loud, not too quiet. But you can have that kind of hit marker or you can render it on the player. This does sometimes mess up. But if you have a. It's easier to see when you're using like different guns, but you can actually see the hit marker on the player. It's not very visible at the moment, but you know, that's what it is. Rugged Force. Let me play someone with that. Um, okay, so it doesn't look like it's drawing at the moment. Let's put it to 100. So it falls then. No. Maybe it'd be a bug. Um, and then you've got clan tag spam, which is just, of course, pasteware. Pasteware over and over and over again. Uh, yeah, it's a clan tag, you know, it's what is, what is. Uh, and then you've got config section. Now you can change the colour, any colour you want. I kind of like having a, you know, I like pink and all that kind of colour, so I like having this. Uh, you've got aim step. Now, maybe it's just me, but I don't really know what aim step is. Um, it's very, sh I don't know, if I put on my AA, and then I suppose it, like, maybe it's just me, but I don't know what this does. I can't shoot at the moment. If it doesn't let me shoot. I might try in HQHC what it does, but I don't really know. Safety mode, so um, I think this is just like um, anti-untrusted so you can't, won't get untrusted and whatnot. Um, then you got configuration. Now, this is the one thing I really don't like. Um, it's, it's more of an inconvenience than anything else, but um, you have to change every config. So let's say I grab, let's say I go on my auto config. Um, right, you know, it's got my scout config. Yeah, ignore the horrible visuals, don't worry. I know they're horrible. Um, you see, let's say I was just playing a game of Halo. So these, these are the... So, uh, so yeah, let's just say that's that. Then you, you want to, let's say you grab a scout ne or a the next round. It doesn't automatically change. You have to go on here, automatically set auto, then continue, and whatnot. Oh? <laughs> I think I've got aim. Yeah, I've got aim stuff on. Um, but yeah, it's really inconvenient to just have to do that every single time. You know, you're trying to show off. You're trying to pick, like, let's say you grab a in an intense match of HVH or whatnot. You grab a scout or something off the floor. You have to quickly go in here, change it, you know, or whatnot. So it's just a bit of an annoyance. Uh, a few bugs I've noticed: if you hold down V when you, or if you hold down your third person key, it kind of does this. I mean, I've seen Fatality have it, so I mean, I'm not too, I'm not going really to complain. I mean, who's going to sit there and just do this anyway? Whether you like having a seizure or not, it's up to you. Um, but yeah, I mean, the cheat is uh, 21 Canadian dollars. So, in pounds or GDP, that's about 12 pounds, 11 pounds, plus PayPal tax, which is about 30 pence. Um, for, for 12 pounds, you know, it is really good. I've been having a lot of fun with Paceware, you know, 
whether it's just because I've, I, you know, it's, it's back and I, I really, mi I missed it or whatnot, I don't know, but I've been having a lot of fun, and I've, I've, I start, I was using Evolve this month, um, I've now fully swapped to Pasteware, as much as I love Evolve, <laughs> I love it, the cheat's a bit shit, so, you know, I like, I feel like this cheat's actually more consistent on what it hits, um, you know, but hey, uh, the G is going to be getting a script section. We're just waiting for the Lua document. I don't know whether, I don't know whether it's going to be Lua or JS, but I'm assuming Lua. So Lua's script, uh, Lua uh, API is going to be released soon. Get that. Hopefully skins is fixed. But yeah, that's a quick review of Pasteware. I think I've gone everything I wanted to go over. Um, yeah, sorry for the lack of uploads again. Uh, I didn't probably miss that before, but yeah, sorry for the lack of uploads. Uh, just been very busy with college both me and uh, Ibsen, uh, he's been busy with work whatnot. whatnot, um, but yeah, probably upload some more videos soon, so uh, I don't really know what to do for an outro, so uh, I guess I'll say see you later.